everyone welcome back it's melanie or she shed scrappers so today i am back with another layout for the erica rose creates design team with this layout i am using her viewfinder uh cut file which is absolutely amazing i love how it has a heart cut out in the middle even though the way i use it i do end up covering it up but i feel like it is so cute with that heart in the middle i am using the where to next collection from vicky booten and really wanted to bring in some color to this layout and so i am going to be using the heart paper as a border and then using just a white piece of cardstock for my base because I did cut out this large viewfinder in a light blue. The the thing that I love about cut files um, are that is that you can cut them any size you want. So I'm actually going to be using two of them on this layout. Uh, one of them is that large one and then I did cut a smaller one using I believe that blue polka dotted paper I was I just had on the screen um, and I'm going to use the smaller one as a layering piece so I did already cut out my picture with a uh, die and cut that in a circle that is the globe the universal globe and I just thought that would be really cute in the center of that viewfinder and then I cut a wider white border um, just to break up, I guess, the picture and the light blue viewfinder there. So I tried to get that as far to the top left as I could because I am going to also be using this uh, landscape photo. Now I'm like questioning myself. I think that's landscape. Oh my goodness. Brain fart. Um, and this large, large chipboard title. And so I needed to be able to squeeze everything in there. With where I have the larger photo placed, I needed something to fill in that upper space above it. And in the paper recollection, there was this giant tag, and I really like the way that that looked. Um, so I am going to end up at leaving that tag there, and then kind of using that also as a base to embellish. I mentioned before, I wanted to bring in some extra color, and so while I was going through kind of my stash of this collection, I found this striped paper, which is one of my absolute favorites in this collection, and decided I was going to try to incorporate that paper. And that just helped bring in all those colors of the hearts. Um, and so I am going to end up trimming it down just a little bit because I didn't want it behind the viewfinder at all. I didn't want it showing. Um, so once I kind of get everything lined up, uh, I am going to trim it down. I am going to end up using the smaller viewfinder at the top of the photo. And I had misspoke. Um, I cut it out in this floral, like gold foiled floral paper. Um, so just really fun. You can see the heart cut out of that one too. And again, unfortunately, I do cover that up when I um, tuck it under my photo, but it would be absolutely gorgeous with that heart cut out just by itself and having that shown. And then I did go through my scraps of this collection and found a nice bright yellow paper to back my photo with. I just wanted a little bit of more of distinction between my photo and the rest of the uh, layout, I guess. So once I kind of have that done, now I can start piecing it all together and really get everything taped down. When I cut out the large viewfinder, I made sure to keep the heart that was cut out of the middle, and I wanted to use that in the layout somewhere else as an embellishment. So I had the idea for my title, Hello Vacay, um, and so I ended up going into the project pad and using the alpha in the project pad and then piecing together kind of sloppily um, because I didn't have much space on that kind of arrow at the bottom. I just kept, I made it so I could overlap them and make them like crooked. Um, 
I added that there and then I'm going to start really embellishing the rest. I did like having that heart to the bottom right. Um, so I really just had to figure out what else I could use to embellish. I wanted to spruce up that top viewfinder as well. Um, so I did find this sticker here, loved the yellow color. Um, and so I am going to use that yellow sticker there on top of that viewfinder. I just thought that was a perfect spot for that. And just brought kind of a little bit of brightness to that cluster at the top. But that just meant that now I needed to find something for the cluster with a heart still. And I have so much of this collection that sometimes I do struggle piecing things together. Um, I do find sometimes when I don't have as much that it is easier for me to embellish. Uh, but I found a little like prize ribbon with a saying on it and... I thought that was really cute to overlap on that heart. And so I am going to add that to the bottom cluster. I did want something behind that saying and the viewfinder. I just felt like there was that big open space. So I kind of played around with a few things, but didn't really love... Um, anything until kind of that camera. I felt like that was a good in-between size, not too large, not too small. It really did fill in that space really nicely. I will add some extra things to that, um, but that did kind of just fill in that gap. And then with that space to the right of my title and under my photo there, I decided that I would use that space to journal. Um, this was obviously a girl's trip and we just went to, I think it's City Walk. Um, and I just wanted to journal a little bit. And I have been adding the journaling strips just as a visual. And I know a couple of you have mentioned that you like having that visual there. And so I have been adding them during my videos and then obviously journaling afterwards. But once I have that done, I did find a phrase sticker. I think it said long weekend that I added to the heart on that cluster to the bottom right. And then I think last thing I'm going to do besides adding a couple of puffy hearts um, is I just felt like the top of the layout with the viewfinder even, I just felt like it was kind of plain. There was a lot of white in those spaces. And I have so many flares from Scrap and Happy Studio that I thought it would be perfect to kind of use some of those up and add them kind of every other space. And so I go in and find a bunch of heart flares from Scrap and Happy Studio and I'm going to add those to those spaces there with colors that are kind of similar. I do have that one camera that is bright pink that I really wanted to use up because it's the last one of the pack. Um, but I just didn't like how the rest were hearts and then I had that one camera. And so I am going to kind of play around and mix it up and just keep it with hearts, even though there are a couple of different kind of styled hearts. Um, but once I have that done, I'm going to tape them down and that is going to finish off this layout. I will have the link down below for the Erica Rose Creates uh, website where you can find the viewfinder. She also has kits and other classes and amazing things. So definitely check it out. And then when you check out, make sure you use the code Melanie for 15% off your order. I hope you guys enjoyed this layout and we will see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.